So in a, a job that sees you guys travel the world, I was reading that some of this was filmed like South London in Ham West London, Hammersmith, and I know you're both from London, is it South and West as well? Yeah, yeah. Must have been quite nice. Did you get to sort of go back to, I don't know, mum's have a cup of tea to some old friends? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. There was, there was a hold up on set where both of us went back to our respective mum's houses. Um, yeah, no, it was really cool actually, yeah. kind of. Yeah, the unit base for for our very first days filming was a part of town I knew quite well mm. in West London, and yeah, so it was it was yeah. I've never had that before. Even for me, yeah, like we I, one of the unit bases was where I sort of like go out and do my pull ups and stuff, and I think my my brother was walking by. Do you remember? Yes, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. He just yeah. he happened to just be walking home, and he saw me film, filming. He's like, "What are you doing here?" <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Well, I thought it was a London, because I'm from London, it was a London I recognised on screen. I think it was that mm. mixture between like, how you can have such big kind of affluent big buildings yeah. and sort of be, sort of, and the way London is just such a mixture of, of yeah. and just, is it a London you both recognise and how important is that as Londoners that, to, to, to make when you're in something like this, that it feels very authentic in that regard? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Like one, well, London is not one, one, uh, you know, one, one layer. L London is a melting pot of so much, of so many different types of people. So. Mm. And, and yeah, like, you know, growing up, it's like, you know, around the corner is, you know, Dulwich and then the, the other corner to me is Peckham. So it's like just just the different um, different types of people, different groups of people. And I think yeah. it's important to see that on film because it's, it's a true reflection of, of what we see, right? Yeah, completely, completely. Because there's there's a, there's a enough of a couple of little postcard moments, but it's not just filled with, you know, you're yeah. standard kind of almost like a sort of a tourist view of London. It, yeah, it feels very, very true to the London we know. Did you guys get the chance to practice any sort of graffitiing? Oh, right. yeah, and if so, yeah. how did you find it? Because it's one of those things I'd always love to try, like le legally. Yeah, because <laughs> yeah. yeah. so, yeah, at school you do those things on like your mask, but you draw like, yeah. like the S with the yeah, yeah. 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 super yeah. S. We all know the S. Yeah. Yeah. We, st <laughs> yeah. we started with the S. Yeah. Um, no, it was great. It was like, I mean, like any sort of skill, it was a real sort of perspective hit. To, like, it's so difficult to, yeah. do, to do well, and those guys are absolute artists um, but it was great it was really good fun and kind of getting just, it's all the specifics of like how far you hold the can away from the wall and the different cap that's on there and sort of how the spray comes out uh, the paint comes out sorry um, so yeah it was, it was good I feel like each time you do it you do get better and I think yeah. you want to keep it's, 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 I don't know I just felt like I wanted to keep on trying keep yeah. practicing and, and, and getting better it's almost addictive as well we yeah, had that yeah. sort of that evening and, and we, we were going just constantly it's, going right you know, yeah, yeah, there was yeah. a moment where you sort of go quiet you get chatting to the guys you turn and you around and go back to it yeah yeah yeah, still yeah, yeah. There, or you, one of us still there yeah have you ever carried on a skill that you've learned for a film? Because sometimes you get people that like, they just like learn how to ride horseback with a sword. It's like the most <laughs> yeah. random skills. Is there anything yeah. you've ever had to do for a movie that you've actually ignited a passion for real life? Not for me, no. I wish oh. actually, yeah. Um, I, horse riding is one of them I actually want to continue to do. But yeah, is there anything you've kept on? Mine's a bit pretentious. It's like, <laughs> Captain Fantastic, I did yoga. Oh. And I still do yoga. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, the opposite to yoga. Did you, you have a tag at school? You know, do you, do you know tag? Yeah, 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 I did, I did. Oh, look, 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 you see, you're the embarrassment. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh, no. Yeah, um, yeah no, my, mine was um, Younger Teaser. Yeah, yeah, in school. Oh. Yeah. Younger yeah. Teaser, that's, yeah. that's, that's good. Thank you, man. I think I wrote like, I think I did the big S, yeah. and I wrote skater with an eight. Yeah. <laughs> well, my name was Stefan, so I could just do the big S. Just, and just, that was that's it, that's my name. Okay. But you're, well, you're playing good guys inherently, you know? I mean, I mean, Toby's a lawbreaker, of course, but he's anti-establishment, you know? Yeah. And I just wondered if you see, do you feel that you have to see the good in your characters that you play, even if they're flawed? Yeah. Is it something, as, as actors, is it a bit of a rule of thumb that you always try to have to at least understand or empathise with the people you embody? Yeah, I feel like empathy for me is a big thing. I think it's like to understand and sometimes that doesn't mean necessary to agree, but definitely to understand, understand why a character is making certain choices. And um, I think that empathy just allows me to kind of really emotionally understand um, just where my character is going and, and the reasons why it's so important to him, basically. Yeah, totally. I think, I think understanding is so important with characters and it's also a really healthy kind of thing to take away from jobs because I think nowadays, it's sort of, it's, some people are terrified with the idea of understanding mm. a, a, an opposing school of thought. It doesn't mean you have to agree, yeah. but if you can empathize and understand, where at yeah. the minute, if people are so scared to even understand uh, yeah. a, 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 an opposition, then, then it sort of polarizes things. And mm. I think that's where Toby's at, he's choosing, he cannot understand the other mm. side of it. Um, but 
but I, in a sense, I understand that single-mindedness, even if I don't fully agree. Yeah. And of course, Hugh had a harder thing where he had to try and to like his character might have been a bit harder. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. But how was he sort of on set? Because I know sometimes when people play the kind of antagonist of a film, they maybe in a more sort of method way, they like to keep a bit of a distance from the kind of the, the heroes of the piece. Is that the case on this instance, or was it just the second that Barbeck shouted cut? It was just that everyone was just happy and. Situation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For me, yeah, pretty much. Yeah. I think I think that's just like the the this the skill of Hugh, right? He he just knows how to like when you're doing it with him. He just you know as soon as they say action, he just switches into his character, and it's it's incredible to to witness for us both. And um, you know, hopefully, yeah, when audiences watch it, they can see what we see really. You know, yeah, 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 totally. I, I mean, I felt for the scenes that I had with Hugh, so much of them, even when we were in the same scene, we're sort of at a distance, sort of unaware of each other or kind of like refusing to acknowledge our awareness of each other so it was sort of there was always a tiny bit of distance but you know anytime we chat he's, he's a lovely lovely man my well, daughter of lovely i'm interested to be back as well it's just so nice i know yeah. i know it's one of those you know when you're a director the key thing is the kind of artistic vision but it must be so we don't, we don't sort of focus enough on people just being really nice and what a positive thing that can be on a film so what's it like having a, a director like that that's got that kind of natural accessibility and, and enthusiasm for the project for me it's everything yeah. honestly for me it's everything because i think when you're acting you're, you're sharing you know you're vulnerable and especially your director you just want that level of trust and communication yeah. and i think babak is all of those things there like he just was super collaborative from from the get from the word go he was honestly like just with us like on the ground mm. like really building this through and i just felt that all my ideas you know were worth something and i think that just really lends to why you know I've, the, the piece is what it is right now yeah completely completely i agree it's, it's infectious and it kind of the director is your leader and it sort of colors the water that you're all splashing about in <laughs> so it's kind of so if it's a, if it's a good vibe then it, it, it really peters through that's why i think jose Mourinho didn't work at spurs what's <laughs> good vibes, <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, no, good vibes. where's it your two clubs not hey, mine he, 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 won, he won trophies <laughs> you know maybe mm. babak will manage spurs so my final george i was going to ask you just lastly because you've had some great on-screen mums in yeah. your time yeah. where does kelly rank in your oh yeah. <laughs> uh, that's not fair <laughs> i've had some amazing mums. yeah you've got some great mums max that really strong strong like strong mum um, yeah, so so Kelly's up there, but um, but they're, they're, it's it's just a very high level of a mutual kind of heaven of mums. Um, so yeah, Kelly's up there for sure. The weird thing is, the sort of more you go progress through this industry, next will be you're gonna have, it's gonna be who's your best kid you've had. You know, yeah, who's, like who's the best kid? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's funny. Soon to be, we've got a couple yeah. of mums to go. But. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> cool. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching. Hey, you guys! Hey, you guys, huh? Hey, you guys, Is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey! hey.